We're going to start with the big summit that happened in Florida. Both sides are saying the first ever face to face between U.S. President Donald Trump and Chinese President Xi Jinping went well. That said, since there was no official joint statement or press conference to close out the summit, it seems the leaders weren't able to reach any groundbreaking deals on either trade or North Korea. Connie Kim starts us off. The leaders of the world's two superpowers wrapped up their two-day summit with trade topping the agenda and a mutual understanding on North Korea. U.S. President Donald Trump announced the two sides made progress in narrowing their differences, but did not elaborate further. I think we have made tremendous progress in our relationship with China. We look forward to being together many times in the future, and I believe lots of very potentially bad problems will be going away. Chinese President Xi Jinping also spoke in positive terms, but the words used were broad without being specific. We have engaged in deeper understanding and have built a trust, a preliminary working relationship and friendship. Instead of a widely expected press conference, Trump's aides briefed on the results of the summit, indicating huge deals were not reached. Secretary of Commerce Wilbur Ross said the most significant part of the summit was President Xi's agreement to a 100-day plan for trade talks aimed at boosting U.S. exports and reducing China's trade surplus with Washington. During the campaign, Trump had promised American voters that he would stop what he called the theft of American jobs by China. Despite high expectations, an agreement could be struck on North Korea. Secretary of State Rex Tillerson laid out nothing special, saying both sides agreed that Pyongyang's nuclear programs had, quote, reached a very serious stage and reaffirmed their commitment to a denuclearized Korean peninsula. But Tillerson did note Washington is prepared to come up with its own ways to solve the North Korea issue if Beijing doesn't work with the U.S. Citing top-ranking U.S. military and intelligence officials, NBC reports that ahead of the summit, the U.S. National Security Council presented President Trump with a proposal for the deployment of American nuclear weapons to South Korea. The deployment of the THAAD missile defense system to the Korean Peninsula was not mentioned in the briefing, but in a phone call with South Korea's acting president, Hwang yu Trump reportedly conveyed American stance on THAAD to the Chinese leader. Beijing has been strongly opposed to Seoul's decision to bring in the U.S. military hardware due to concerns it could also monitor China's mainland. Watchers say the first meeting was a, quote, get-to-know-you session. But with Trump accepting President Xi's invitation to visit Beijing for a state visit, there are indications that two countries are willing to improve ties and boost cooperation on the issues of bilateral trade and North Korea. Connie Kim, Adel News.